I'm Kate McCartney. I'm Kate McLennan. We're unstable. Welcome to the catering show. Fuck, oh, this is heavy. This show is all about me and how I can cook delicious recipes that won't make McCartney sh her pants. But food isn't just about not sh your pants, it's also about happiness. It's about health. It's about controlling your life expectancy through what you put in your body so that you never die unexpectedly on a toilet. We all want to live forever and the best way to live forever is to quit sugar. So in today's episode, we're going sugar free. Wow, that has just gone everywhere, hasn't it? Sugar, it's been really bad for you since the internet began. Sugar has been linked to dementia, corn, Americans. Infertility, fatness, dead orangutans, depression, and God knows we don't need any more of that, do we? <laughs> <laughs> but sugar is all I have. Without beer and cheese in my diet, sugar is the one thing that makes me happy, aside from alcohol, which my shrink has strongly urged me to cut back on. So why would I want to give up sugar? Well, the answer is this lady. Sarah Wilson. Sarah Wilson. Sarah Wilson is a lady who thinks that cancer can be cured by masturbation or something and who made up the idea of quitting sugar. She has rich girl hair. And Photoshop skin. And we want to be just like her. And the best way to be just like her is to quit sugar and get fired from hosting a cooking show, a goal which we are one step away from achieving. That's right, McLennan. So let's get started on changing our lives for the better. Again. In order to become just like Sarah Wilson, we have to get rid of all of the foods containing poisonous sugars, like apples, wine, other apples, sugar. Sarah Wilson doesn't like to be wasteful, so we're going to take all of these poisonous sugars to the kids next door. You right? But quitting sugar isn't just about having a mental illness. It's about dealing with sugar cravings. Normally, if we don't have any sugar during the 3 p.m. slump, McLennan reveals her real personality. And McCartney loses all trace of hers. Usually, we combat this by taking some cold and flu tablets or doing some cocaine. But we're at a point in our lives where stimulants make us feel suicidal, so we want to be more even keeled. We want to feel nothing. Which is why we're going to make a sugarless, food intolerant, friendly quinoa stack. Yes. Right. Quinoa. Right, let's go. I've just cooked up some ground beef, which is a great source of beef, and I'm just going to mix that through with the quinoa. Can you just, can you just move it? Just move the chopping board over a bit, please. Just, yeah, it's heavy. And so what I'm going to do is mix that through with some quinoa, which I'm going to get McCartney to cook just like rice. I hate quinoa. Can you just make me halfway? So we're just going to layer our quinoa stack with some passata and some zucchini. And then I'm going to add in some fresh herbs, you know, just to give it some flavour. No, I've got this, all right? And then we're going to bake it in the oven for 45 minutes. I forgot to turn on the oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, so we just had a three-hour nap and we feel a lot better, don't we? Yes, and what better way to wake up than by doing the booze reviews? Sarah Wilson says that you should avoid booze when you're quitting sugar, so we can't drink any alcohol, which is fucking bullshit, Sarah. So we're going to accompany our quinoa stack with this tea called kombucha, which sounds like the fermented juice of a parasitical fungus because it is the fermented juice of a parasitical fungus. You make kombucha from a starter fungus called a SCOBY. But you can't buy a SCOBY from the shops. You have to be given it, like an STD. We got ours from a woman called Geraldine, who we met on an internet message board. Yeah, Geraldine is a lady with really interesting ideas about nutrition and child immunisation who has our home addresses now. Should we try it? OK. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes like a cold sore, but, um... No, I can really... I can really 
really feel it doing me good. You look really awake. Do I? Yeah. I feel, well, I feel really awake. Yeah, and you look really pretty. Yeah, I feel pretty. So do you. Do I? Yeah, you're glowing. Oh God, I'm so tired. I'm so tired, I'm you so guys. I'm tired. Day one of going sugar-free was worse than weddings, and it nearly tore our tenuous working relationship apart. But by day two, our lives had started to feel better, and more importantly, had started to look better. days since we quit sugar and became just like Sarah Wilson and it has been a life-changing experience. Our hair is shiny, we're more alert, things taste better, we're more alert, our bowel movements are like Christmas presents. And we're still cancer free. There's absolutely no doubt that our bodies and our minds are relishing being off sugar. So are we going to continue on this amazing sugar-free journey? No. no. No, we are not idiots. Our friends will not fucking speak to us. <laughs> How do these people who quit sugar think they're going to die? I don't know. I guess in their sleep when they're 102. I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? Drowning would be all right. Hmm. Yeah. Or freezing to death in the freezer, like a cane toad. That'd be good. I want to be buried. What do you mean, like alive? Yeah, like a daffodil bulb. What is this? It's urinal. It's for urinary tract infections. It's the only thing I could find in the house that had any sugar in it. Be all right with vodka. That's an idea. <laughs> 